Our own News 19 meteorologist Miller Hyatt sharing some health advice from those who spend much of their day under the summer sun. The dog days of summer are here and people across the Cooley region are hitting the pools to stay cool. And while a swim in the pool may appear refreshing, it doesn't shield you from the dangers of the sun. With our lifeguards, we encourage them to keep their water bottles up in the stand with them, drink plenty of water throughout the day. Um, we have shade structures and umbrellas for both patrons and our staff. Um, while the staff are on break, they're allowed to swim. Uh, we encourage all patrons to reapply sunscreen throughout the day um, to avoid any kind of sun poisoning, sun, uh, sunburn, anything like that. Knowing the safety measures you must take to keep safe in hot weather is crucial since hot temperatures can take a toll on your body. What typically happens is, you know, folks are sweating like they're supposed to. That helps kind of reduce our body heat. But when people stop sweating, we start to feel chills. That's when we know we're getting into that hyperthermia range when you're too hot. Uh, you might notice some muscle cramps. Uh, your heart might start racing a little bit more, a little harder to breathe. Um, muscle cramps can come and you can get, you know, even just a sense of real weakness. Um, sometimes people even get confusion. If we see a kid on the side of the pool, just kind of, kind of like lo looking around, feeling just very unwell, we have them go sit down, put them in shade, get them water. So yeah, we just try to keep kids cool at all times, always making sure if people are feeling well, telling kids like, hey, if you're not feeling well, please come tell a lifeguard, we'll get you feeling better. And now that you know the necessary precautions to take, it's time to take a dip in the pool. In La Crosse, Miller Hyatt, WXOW News 19. And it's important that all people heed this advice because when it comes to the heat, the Wisconsin Department of Health Services notes while hospitalizations are more frequent among people 65 and older, visits to the emergency department are highest among younger people ages 15 to 34. And it looks like the heat will continue. Dan's got the forecast details next.